The soldier enters precise longitude codes and loads the iron sting round into the launcher too. When the round strikes the firing pin, it activates the detonators, subsequently triggering the ring propellant charge. The more charges are used, the greater the rounds it will travel through the distance. It's essential to keep in mind the fins, which extend from both the front and rear of the mortar and collaborate seamlessly with the guidance sections to steer the missile toward its designated coordinates. We will also be looking at the components of the iron sting mortar and how it works, as well as the second mode of the laser designation method. So stay tuned and don't miss a beat. The iron sting is approximately 3 feet in length and weighs around 35 pounds, which is roughly equivalent to 15 kilograms. This weight may even exceed that of the standard mortar. To offer a size comparison, let's put this handsome guy next to it. The outcome provides a striking visual of just how huge the iron sting is. But what is the difference between a standard mortar round and an iron sting? A standard mortar typically has a range of about 7 to 8 kilometers and often involves indiscriminate firing requiring almost 5 to 6 rounds for a single target. In contrast, iron sting rounds can reach distances of up to 12 to 16 kilometers. The iron sting is specially designed to target urban areas with remarkable precision, boasting an impressive 90% accuracy rate. This is the platform required to launch the iron sting missile. The Army employs a shoot and scoot strategy, also known as fire and displace or fire and move. It is an artillery tactic involving firing a target and then immediately moving away from the location to avoid counter-battery fire from the enemy. Let's examine the interior of the Iron Sting. At the front, you'll find the impact fuse. Just behind the impact fuse, there's the guidance and electronics section, which is connected to a small battery used to power it. This guidance section, equipped with fins, deploys exactly as depicted in these visuals. Just behind it is the warhead, which weighs approximately 9.0 kilograms, equivalent to around 19 pounds. Now these peculiar-looking rings are the propelling charge increments that can be applied as instructed by the commander. The thin strip extending to the base is the propellant ignition cartridge essential for the charge increments to function. The final stage is the tail fin assembly, which usually remains closed, but when it's ready, it deploys its wings. Let's explore how this process works. Step 1. The soldier inputs the exact longitude codes received from the commander. Step 2. The soldier inserts the iron sting round into the launcher tube. Step 3. When the round impacts the firing pin, it activates the detonators. Step 4. This in turn triggers the propellant charge, as discussed earlier. The greater the number of charge, the farther the round will travel. The propellant charge forces the iron sting out of the launcher. Step 5. It's crucial to remember the fins. They deploy from both the front and rear of the mortar. These fins, in coordination with the guidance sections, work together seamlessly. Step 6. These fins collaborate to guide the missile to its assigned coordinates. This weapon is particularly effective against stationary targets like small bunkers. As demonstrated in the animations, the fuse at the front of the Iron Sting activates and triggers the warhead. When set in delayed mode, the Iron Sting penetrates layers of concrete before detonating inside the reinforced bunker. Let's now delve into the laser-guided strategy. Step 1. The forward observer communicates with the fire control and command center. Step 2. He precisely laser designates the intended target. Step 3. The fire control and battle management team launches the Iron Sting missile from the platform. Step 4. The Iron Sting missile transitions from the GPS guidance system and synchronizes its laser seeker with the forward observer's ground target. Step 5. It is known to have the capability to penetrate double reinforced concrete, as illustrated in these animations. The fuse at the front activates and initiates the warhead. We create original videos from scratch, so please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive more videos in the future.